one of the sports that has really been helping to put Zimbabwe on the map is netball. I think uh, you look at our Zimbabwe senior national netball team, uh, the Gems, they've been to the last uh, two World Cups. I think the way the game has been growing and developing has been absolutely fantastic. And that growth and development can only take place if you know we come together and we collaborate and uh, this morning we are going to be talking about a Nebeg Zimbabwe uh, they are the official sponsors of the Premier Nepal League uh, a relationship that ba dates back to 2023 uh, Nebeg are also uh, the official sponsors of the junior and senior Nepal teams uh, the gems that was just uh, talked about as well as uh, the junior sables uh, Zimbabwe's under 20 rugby team and the senior sables, the Zimbabwe senior rugby uh, team. And uh, uh, joining me uh, this morning, I've got uh, Joe Gombera from Nebank as well as Rita Nkangla uh, from uh, the Premier Nepal League. Uh, Rita, good morning and welcome to Morning Rush. Good morning. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having us, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, Teach. How are you doing? I'm great. And you? I'm, I'm fantastic. Like, I'm, I'm just reading <laughs> this profile and I do this all the time, right? Yeah. And I'm like, Nebank must sponsor all of our sports because I was looking at it. The gems, they've yeah. done well. They've been to two World Cups. Yeah. Uh, even even the, the junior gems, they've done quite well as well. Look at the junior, junior Sables, African champions. Obviously, this time around, falling a bit short. Years. And, you know, you look at our rugby team as well. I mean, they've, they've done quite well. So, I mean, what is it about? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you guys as a company and your knack to just associate yourself with success. Okay. Uh, let me tell you a story just to help you appreciate the NetBank brand. Yeah. Uh, last night when I got home, uh, my neighbor, who is a good friend, came to show me his brand new vehicle yeah. that was purchased via the vehicle asset finance facility that we offer at NetBank. Oh, okay. All right. All right. But beyond just showing me the car, he, he was asking for a favor. He said, you know what, Joe, I'm redoing my driveway. So he couldn't drive his car into his car park. Mm. He got a facility through NetBank. Uh, the home equity release where you can borrow against the value of your asset okay. so you wanted to lodge in my in my car park <laughs> yes so, so i got into the house yeah. and i was telling my children that i'm going to be on ztn on tv yeah. tomorrow but they said one of them my boy said dad but our dstv subscription is about to expire <laughs> I, simply, I, 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 I can see where this is going yeah, already i simply <laughs> smiled pulled out my phone logged on to the net bank mobile app yeah. and i paid for my dstv subscriptions and i was smiling yeah and the girl said, Dad, that's not all. Did you see the electricity meter? It's flashing. <laughs> Again, I smiled. Yeah. I just went on my phone, yeah. logged on to NetBank mobile app, and I purchased uh, prepaid electricity. And my friend, uh, the one that came to show me his yeah. vehicle, is an entrepreneur. Yeah. He's actually in the horticulture space and is benefiting immensely from the trade finance uh, products that we offer through our SMS division within NetBank. Yeah. So we, we are part of your daily life as NetBank. Our vision is, is to be the most admired bank by our staff, our clients, our shareholders, our regulators, as well as the communities. We are money experts who pride ourselves in doing good in the community, hence our relationship with, with NetBank. Money experts who pride do good. ourselves in doing good. And just from, you know, the story that you just mm. told, yes. you know, I get the sense that, because sometimes when we think about banking, yes. uh, we just think about maybe going to the ATM and, and, doing, and just maybe argue with, hey, I haven't seen my salary yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't always uh, look at the ancillary services uh, offer, that yes. uh, come. Just, just well. drop us an email, contact center at netbank.co.zw yeah. and we can open up a whole world of financial services that will transform your life. Be it as an individual, as an institution, as a corporate, as a startup, we've got tailor-made products that we can be able to you know, avail to you. I think you've definitely picked my interest. <laughs> but I want to talk about, uh, yeah. you know, doing good in the, in community, the community with a specific reference uh, to the relationship uh, that you have with the Premier mm -hmm. uh, Nepal League. Uh, maybe by starting off, I know you guys obviously uh, were very prominent in terms of your support of the gems and the, the young gems. But in terms of then trickling down to mm -hmm. the Premier Nepal League, how did that partnership uh, come about? One of our key focus areas is sustainability. You have to ask yourself, when you come into a sporting fraternity, what's the end game? 
So it's all about sustainability. We are the sponsors of the Premier Netball League, which draws these players from right across the country. We are empowering communities. We are empowering the girl child. And when they come through for the bubbles that um, my colleague here is going to speak about, they are exposed to national team selection, be it at junior level or at senior level. And when they are playing for the national team, they've got an opportunity to be scouted even by international teams. So it's a journey where we're talking about sustainability. We want to expose the girl child to the highest level of netball, and we're empowering communities. Imagine someone from Wenezi. There's a team that hails from Wenezi. Imagine the pride in that community when they see their girl child on national television, on ZTN, showcasing their talent. Imagine the opportunities that they are getting even to go and play in bigger leagues, playing for the, for the gems, whether at junior level or at senior level. So at NetBank, it's all about empowering the community. And we walk with the girl child through that entire journey. Same concept that we apply even in the rugby space. We start from the grassroots, and you can actually map the journey for any player from their community to their club, to the junior team, to the senior team, and even to international leagues. I'm starting to pick up a theme. You know, when you started out with that story about your friend and the home finance <laughs> and everything, I'm saying it seems to be like a holistic approach, Definitely. even with Nepal. Because obviously, uh, from the outside looking in, we had seen your support for the gems first, but now getting a bit of an understanding yes. that, you know, it's not just about the gems, but even the pathway to get to the gems to the Premier Nepal League. And Ruth, this is where I will bring you in. And I can see a big grin on your face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're clearly happy with what has been saying and the relate. Maybe this how important as has it been for you guys as a league uh, to have uh, this commercial support uh, from a net bank and what impact has it had uh, in terms of uh, the way you guys run the league, uh, the trickle-down effect for the different clubs and the players uh, in the PNL? Uh, I think we are so humbled by the support we are being given by NetBank. We are having 16 teams, and they are supporting all the 16 teams. The teams from Menezi, from Bridge, from Tare, and uh, all of Arare. We are really, really humbled by that. They support us. A, a lot of things. I think almost the three quarters of the, um, the expenses which we are having, the services which we are having, they are coming from NetBank. So we are NetBank children. NetBank children. I love, <laughs> Net I love, children. I love that. I remember I, I went and watched the bubble <laughs> yes. uh, that you guys had, I think, mm. a couple of weeks ago yes. at stored at yes. uh, courts in, in Mbari. And I was so impressed by the, the vibrancy and the excitement uh, that exists in our game. And you're talking about the support uh, from the clubs themselves and mm. the, players, the players, just themselves. knowing that they maybe they can go to these different bubbles. What has that done in terms of maybe helping them to focus on uh, growing and maybe developing as players and clubs? You're talking about Menezi, Bridge, Alari, yes. and all those different places. Do you have a team from Mutari? Because that's my hometown. I hope no, there's no, a team from Mutari. I'm the chairman of Rhinos Club. <laughs> <laughs> and the chairman of the Netball, uh, uh, Premier Netball League. Yes. But I know all those teams in Mutari because I travel a lot. Uh, no, no, that's good. It's, it's <laughs> Netball is, is there, Kumakomoe. Mm. But anyway, Kumakomoe, yes. <laughs> what, 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 from, 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 the, from the other clubs, what has yes. been the feedback in terms of the support and uh, what do you think this can do as well in terms of feeding into uh, the national team structures? We, our teams come from very uh, a variety of backgrounds. We've got teams from corporates. We've got teams which are really uh, on their own, uh, being supported by the local communities like the Mwenez one. Yep. So when we take a team from Mwenez and we tell them that, although you're putting something into a team, but we've got net bank putting almost 60% of your, your services. I think that is really great for them. They are really, really grateful. What we have also done is that uh, we are now going to have uh, a junior policy where each team is going to, to groom a junior team. We have made a, a commit on that. They have written their junior policy document. We are going to I submit it to the Sina for approval, then we also submit it to NetBank. <laughs> I hope I they, you, you, they got the money. They got the money. <laughs> I hope they are going to support us. <laughs> yeah. So each club should have a junior team which is going to 
take the, the, the players from the junior team into the senior team. From there, they go to the gyms. So, so the, that, that development pathway yeah, is crystal clear. Yeah, pathway development wanted to happen. Right. I understand now uh, with the Premier Nepal League, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the fixtures have been happening in bubbles. I think most recently mm -hmm. you guys were in Gweru. Maybe just explain to us, because I think for, for most of us, uh, no, we heard about the bubble when we were in COVID yes. and, you know, people had to be in confined spaces. Uh, as in post-COVID, what has been the rationale behind uh, hosting these bubbles and what have been the positives that have come out mm -hmm. from uh, uh, hosting these bubbles? Okay, the bubble, the bubble games are, are, are cost-effective. When we... I can tell you're working with bankers, because now my goodness, it costs the fact that when they give us, the, when we send in our budgets, yeah. they will tell me, Mkanla, we want the cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm learning. Yeah. By the end of the day, I'll be, li I'll be working with them in their bank. Yeah, no, no they're all about so empowerment. In, yep. So when we bring in, when we bring teams, for example, we bring in four teams for a bubble, uh, it's very cost effective because the four teams will be playing three games instead of going from Mutare to Harare, from Mutare to Bed, you know what? they group together, they play their games. For example, in, uh, in Gweru, we had two hectic games. They were playing all their games together, then they, 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 what? they go home. So it's, it is very cost effective. All right. And then looking ahead, uh, where, when and where is the next bubble that you guys will be hosting? We are now in our season break. Okay, yep. That was our last bubble in Nagueru. And we are starting for its time, which is the last week of July for, okay. the, for the second season, which will end in November. Then we have our reward ceremony, rewarding those great teams and even those teams which supported us. So everybody will be rewarded. Right. In the second. Uh, Joe, I know you said you're all about empowerment. You're all about doing good in the community. Uh, and just listening to Ruth and just, you know, just feeding off her excitement and the impact that uh, your support as Nedbeck has had. You know, what does that do for you guys in terms of maybe now wanting to... I'm going to try and help you out here. <laughs> Come through and support some of the ideas that they, uh, they have in terms of their junior structures. You've already... Uh, displayed an um, aptitude for wanting to take a holistic approach. What's what lies next? So, like, what does Netbeck want to continue doing specifically with netball? And then maybe we can unpack it for maybe other areas in sport that you guys are looking to probably work with. Now, teach is all about uh, teamwork. They say uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So basically, what we do is we we are not prescriptive in terms of uh, the initiatives uh, that. Uh, our partners should come up with. You know, we sit together on the table, we plan, we budget together, and we, we, we take the projects together. We are a brand that is plugged onto the community. Like, like what I said earlier on, we, we want to do good in the community. And for you to do good, you have to have an in-depth understanding of what the community requires. So it's, it's not prescriptive. We sit down with our partners. It's collaborative. Right? We, we yeah. collaborate and we help each other. We bring in our expertise as well so that we we are able to bring in a different dimension as money experts as well. You're talking about budgeting as well. We are money experts. Ah, that's, that's, that's cost, <laughs> yeah, it's cost so, effective. So we need to bring in that to the table so that at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation for NetBank as a brand, uh, for, for the Premier Net, Netball League, and ultimately for the community because we want to make a difference in the community from where we, we derive our business. So we'll continue collaborating, we'll continue engaging so that at the end of the day, we also empower the, the, the girl child. I'm sure you were talking about the netball bubble in Bali. I was also there, and seeing the passion, the drive, the, the excitement among those girls is, 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 is gratifying. And as a brand, you, you want to be associated with that, giving hope. You're thinking, if it wasn't for netball, where would those girls be? You know, we always talk about the scourge of drug abuse and the social ills that, that we see around us. But those girls have got a platform through NetBank, through our partnership with the Premier Netball League, to be able to showcase their talent, to be the pride of their communities, to make a difference and, and create a new pathway for their lives and, 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 and take it forward. You know, the sky is not the limit. They can go beyond. We have seen players in the UK League, you know, playing their trade there, you know, your, your, your former captain, uh, Felistas, and among other players. So you can actually track and see the impact of your initiative. And as NetBank, you know, we'll continue to be driven to be able to explore these opportunities and interact uh, with, with our community through supporting sport in Zimbabwe.
Ah, thank you very much. Uh, Ruth, before I let you go... Maybe, uh, maybe yeah. to just to support him, uh, we we've also give a very vibrant uh, professional executive committee yep. where we have told ourselves that if we have to... If, if we have to, to work with people like NetBank, you should be very, very professional. And I'm happy to say, it's easy, maybe to say that uh, from, from the 28th when we started our bubbles, I think we've been doing a very professional work. And professional is key to any success yes. in sports. Maybe you're just your final words, maybe just uh, of gratitude to NetBank yes. and maybe uh, to aspiring Nepal players out mm. there who want to come and maybe join the junior teams and uh, uh, play in the PNL. Just your final words, maybe in like 30 seconds. Okay. I would like to say that uh, thank you, NetBank, for supporting the girl child. I'm also a girl. <laughs> and I would like to encourage all those aspiring to come and join the Premier League. We welcome everyone. Uh, thank you very much, thank Ruth. You. And Joel, uh, thank you very much uh, as NetBank for the support you continue uh, giving to sport. I know I'm very passionate about sport. It's my main line of work. I'm sure we'll be having conversations. Definitely. We want to have you back here talking about the junior sables, the sables, the young gems, and maybe any other ventures that you guys will have in the future. But thank you guys thank for you joining for me this morning. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.